It's a hell of a green. Actually, it's called Green Hell Magna, and it's the signature color of the 2018 Mercedes AMG GTR, the hottest, fastest, loudest machine in Daimler's rapidly growing lineup of Porsche 911 fighting sports cars. It's a not so subtle nod to the GTR's birthplace, the fearsome Nurburgring Nordschleife, a 12.9 mile. 73-turn racetrack that swoops and sweeps through the heavily forested Eiffel Mountains in Germany. A racetrack nicknamed the Green Hell. Developing 577 horsepower at 6,250 revolutions per minute and 516 pounds to foot of torque available between 1,900 revolutions per minute and 5,500 revolutions per minute. The GTR's engine is another iteration of AMG's versatile 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8. It develops 74 more horses and 37 pounds to foot more torque than the version that powers our 2015 best driver's car, the GTS. That's because new turbochargers have allowed maximum boost pressure to be increased from 17.4 pounds per square inch to 19.5 pounds per square inch plus revisions to the combustion chambers, exhaust ports, and throttle mapping. The flywheel is 1.5 pounds lighter, reducing inertia and allowing the engine to rev harder, faster. AMG's 7-speed dual-clutch automated manual transmission, mounted between the rear wheels, is connected to the engine by a carbon fiber torque tube that is 40% lighter than the cast aluminum unit used in regular GT models. The GTR's transmission ratios are also more closely stacked. First is longer and seventh is shorter. The final drive ratio is also shorter. AMG claims the GTR will sprint to 60 miles per hour in less than 3.5 seconds, which seems conservative given the 3.2 second time posted by the 33 pound heavier GTS during our testing. Claimed top speed is a whisker under 200 miles per hour. The GTR comes equipped with the usual menu of AMG drive modes, Individual, Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and Race, and each does pretty much the same as they do on other AMG cars in terms of changing steering response, throttle mapping, transmission shift protocols, damping rates, etc. But it also comes with the technology lifted straight from the GT3 race version of the car. 9-stage adjustable traction control, adjustable via a bright yellow rotary controller at the center of the dash. Mercedes-Benz USA has yet to confirm final numbers, but it says the GTR's base sticker will be under $200,000 when it goes on sale stateside next summer, pricing that puts it wheel-to-wheel -wheel with the Porsche 911 GT3 or Turbo S foolishness? Or confident? Tobias Mowers smiles and points out the GTR turned a 7 minute, 10.9 second lap in the green hell, a comfortably quicker time than any 911 has managed. I got a lot of text messages after that came out, he says. The Porsche guys are waking up.